Ahem. Ahem, ahem. Hello. I always seem to start streams by, uh, making noises into the microphone. Like that one. Oh well. So, first I'm going to look at the results for the Splatfest. I already know what they are. Actually. But, um, gotta look. Gotta see what they have to say about it. Hello. <laughs> I started streaming at about 4.20 p.m. And this is Splatoon version 4.2.0, and I didn't realize that. That's one of the funny numbers. So I already know these results, because I looked to see if the results were in, like, last night, and, well, they were, so it just tells you what they are. <laughs> Apples aren't related to salsa or guacamole, Pearl. Come on. So this is interesting. Salsa won in all three categories. Yeah, I expected a wrap. There it is. <laughs> Poor Marina. All right. So salsa one three to zero. <coughs> Apparently one of Marina's best friends is a sea sponge. Have we seen a sea sponge character? I don't think so. Sea cucumber, yes, but Hmm. Hello. That's an appropriate emoji to have around here. Okay, some kind of cute Vaporeon. Not displayed on the screen. Because Switch games, I think, usually I need the entire screen to be visible. <laughs> At least for this one I did. Um... Before I go to the actual main event, I gotta put my shirt back on that I haven't actually used because I only play during Splatfests. I agree with this person. Anyways. It's time. Or let's go, Eevee. That's a lot of Vaporeon emotes. Uh, so can I not use both Joy-Cons? Is it only single Joy-Con play? Uh. 
I want to use both Joy-Cons. I guess not. I guess you have to use just one? Alright, that's a little weird. Well, okay then, let's go. Guess I'll use this one. I just feel more comfortable holding both of them. I don't have the Pokeball. Because I don't want to spend that kind of money. <laughs> Hello, Evie. This is a weird intro to have in the game itself. Hello. You're all adults, right? What language should I play? Just kidding. <laughs> This game is obnoxiously cute already. <laughs> Hello! Hello again, Eevee. Welcome to the Eevee Zone. Featuring Professor Oak. <laughs> Dr. al Qaeda, he was called. Uh, did I just jump into the TV? I have no idea. This is kind of surreal. What do I look like? Wow, it doesn't even ask you, are you a boy or are you a girl? It just says, what do you look like? Uh, well, let's see. I hope you can change, like, your hair color and stuff. At some point. I think this one is the most accurate. Wish I could use both Joy-Cons at once, but okay. I'll get used to it. I will get over it. I, sw I could have sworn I saw people use both Joy-Cons at once in like trailers and stuff. Ugh, sorry for all the sniffling already. Who's this loser? Oh, okay. Oh boy, I didn't think of a name for the rival, actually. Um... I'm going to name him Dennis. <laughs> For no reason. Our options are North, South, and Dennis. Evie's here too. Okay, so he did gender me. It just took him a second. Let's go through the wormhole! You get to, like, choose the gender of your Eevee? Okay, so I literally did go into the TV. I guess. Or I was, like, some sort of... I, I have no idea what's going on. Alright. Well, then. So... Okay, so... You're so... I don't think it's that comfortable to hold a single Joy-Con upright. But alright, I'll deal. Let's save. 
I wonder who those people are. You have to reset from the start to manipulate the gender. I can't even look at the menu. Fine. Just wanted to double check. I might have been born out of the TV. <laughs> I'm going to do something. Oh, you see Evie's tail in the opening? Like, I could have told what gender... Okay. I'm going to do something weird and set battle style to set instead of letting me switch. Because A, that's what Toho Puppets does. And B, it'll make the game more interesting. Tech speed shall be fast. Vibration is no. That's a weird setting to adjust, Pokemon cries. I could make them ultra loud. <laughs> Ever? 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 Apparently not. Apparently five is the max. Not as good of a sound test as Sonic racing games. I guess you can skip cutscenes, but only if you have cutscene skipping turned on. Hmm. Pokemon Go settings. Well, I don't have Pokemon Go on my phone at the moment, so that's useless. Anyway. It's a Nintendo Switch. Wait a dang second. Um, I want to try something here. Actually, ah, because I was thinking that one Joy Con that's on the table is the one that I wasn't using. So I was wondering if it would change depending on what controller you were using, actually. I'm going to still use the right one. Maybe if I left the room and came back, it would change it. Or maybe I'm reading into it too much. Hmm, that's a good question. No, I think the far right option is handheld mode. Like, I can't select it. It says press a button on the controller you want to use. And if I press a button on both Joy-Cons at once, it does nothing. But if I press a Joy-Con on the right one, which is also the instruction for the connected version, it just picks the right one. Hey, that poster up there, there's an email from Dennis. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Uh, up there, that poster on the wall is the intro to, like, red and blue, or fire red and leaf green, more specifically, I think. It's a fuzzy Eevee plush. That's the most important detail, is the fuzzy part. I can't inspect the books. I don't know, this movement feels awkward with this controller. Just a little. A lot more than this game has in it. Oh, ho, ho. Maybe I'll... Hmm. I think it might be easier for me to use the other Joy-Con, honestly. Sorry, this part is taking me so long. It's the position of the control stick, I think. Press the up button. Right. 
the control sticks position. Cause I thought both Joy-Cons didn't even have the gyro in them, so it's weird that you... Um... Yeah, this is a little more comfortable. It's weird that you can't use both. Hello, Dennis. Hey, it capitalized his name in the text box, even though I didn't. Did Professor Oak not absorb you into the television dimension? Wait, is this a Persona 4 crossover? Is that what happened? Yes, Dennis, I read your email. Look at my desktop, Dennis. I removed all of the icons and the taskbar and put a blank blue background just to confound anyone else who tried to use it. Also, that calendar there, which we saw a better picture of a second ago, has the uh, an overworld sprite from the Game Boy games. <laughs> Check out my novelty desk mirror, Dennis. Yeah. What's on this television? Always with the road. Let me go back into this room for a second. Aw. Okay. The attention to detail thing that I was hoping is not really there. Huh. Actually, it's really interesting how um, the character's mom looks like that. She's got, like, a darker skin color. That's... Interesting. Like, I don't know, I figured she'd just be, like, a boring, regular Pokemon mom that resembled my character more closely. That face looks like an Oddish. I get it. I gotta try to examine everything, by the way. <laughs> Welcome to Pallet Town. This game does look very nice, at least. It's my house. It's only my house. It's not my mom's house. It's just mine. Shades of your journey await, huh? Yeah, the buildings are red and blue as well. That's that's true. Yep, I knew you would say that. Technology is incredible. There always manages to be something for technology to be incredible about. Technically speaking, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are based on yellow, I think. What do you mean Professor Oak doesn't look like much? He looks very professory to me. Why can't I read this bulletin billboard, whiteboard? There's a little bit of jerkiness every time I start moving. It's a little weird. Hey, one of those is missing. I know I'm not supposed to be here first. The Best of Pokemon Poems by Professor Oak. Did Professor Oak write these poems? I want to read Professor Oak's poetry. What the heck? Why isn't it letting me do that? <laughs> Professor Oak looks like it—he he looks like he got an automated email from the Pokemon League. <laughs> oh ho! A strange pattern.
There's a lot of stuff you can examine in here. Wait, the, the poems is an anime reference? Admittedly, I don't know a lot about the anime. It's been a long time since I watched any of it. That's a bit of a noticeable load time when transitioning. That's alright. Hello, Dennis Mom. I'm here to examine your house. I cannot inspect your trash can. Wait, this is a one-floor house? Dennis doesn't get his own room? But wait, there was a second floor on the outside. It was the same size as my house. Well, that's weird and mysterious. <laughs> well, my good Pidgey, this is a different thing. Oak's hair looks like a carrot from behind. Hello, Oak. That'd be funny if he got into a wild encounter just then. <laughs> I guess he is getting into a wild encounter just then. Hello, Eevee. Well, alright. Eevee, you're not supposed to fight people who are outside the grass. Hold your Joy-Con horizontally. Alright. I like this diagram. It's cute. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I have to flick it harder than that? Okay, you have to hit get ready again. Yes, I know. <laughs> There we go. You have to get- you have to make sure the ring is smaller, so, uh... You get a- it's a better catch if you hit the ring when it's small. I remember that much, at least. Oh, I had ten Pokeballs? Yep, it's Pokemon Go catching mechanics. What are you talking about, Oak? I messed up once. <laughs> uh, holy crap. Eevee. Wait, did Eevee just go into the third thing? Eevee. Eevee, what are you doing? What if I want to look at the other Pokeballs? Okay. <laughs> well, now that Dennis has said pal, I can only imagine him with a Detective Gumshoe voice. I think it's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one, pal. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. This is adorable. Hi, Eevee. <laughs> hey, pal, that's my enduring character, the tree. <laughs> I, 
I think the point of this scene is just to be silly and cute, probably. I don't want to nickname my Pokemon this time, actually. I think I'm gonna leave them as their names. Because it's a little bit hard to come up with a nickname for every Pokemon. I'm just gonna stick with the usual. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so if one of those was a Pikachu and I just got an Eevee, what's the third Pokemon? Hi, Eevee. Oh, it's a female Eevee. A brave nature. Came to the Kanto region through some mysterious force. What? Okay. Met each other again in Pallet Town? What? You know, you say obviously a Mew, but you might actually be right or something. Hmm. So this EV is from the other the back side of the TV. Oh, it's on the save screen. Oh, this is unfair. <laughs> Professor Oak has never seen a new trainer catch the first Pokemon themselves. I guess, ever. Well, this is a streamlined introduction. I don't even have to go get your package for you or anything. I just noticed the the tea kettle with like the Pokemon colors on it back there. Kinda. What happened to the last trainers you told to do this, Professor Oak? Wait, you don't even get to... you don't even fight your rival? Weird. A Pokemon game starting in the Safari Zone would be pretty cool. Wow, we start with 50 Pokeballs. Alright, fair. Uh, the Pokemon box is like infinite now, I believe. Huh. No medicine. No medicine left. I don't know why I'm checking to see if there's anything else. Can't wait to get clothing. That's what I'm honestly very excited about. Now, battle items still exist? I guess that's where Megastones go. You can you can see the Megastone there, that's not even a spoiler. <laughs> it's a little weird that you don't fight your rival straight off. Hello, Mom. Fair enough. Dennis doesn't have a sister to give me this map. Actually, that's a good point. I don't think you can take your hat off. Let me double check. Nope. You must wear a hat. 
You must protect your young, delicate eyes from the bright light of the sun. It's mandatory. Well, let's head out, I suppose. So, there aren't wild encounters in grass anymore. Pokemon will just appear on the world. So what's the point of the grass existing? I don't know. Oh. Hello, Pidgey. Well, I missed. <laughs> I missed, but it doesn't matter, because it's just a Pidgey. Fair enough. You get a lot of- you get most of your experience from catching stuff, I think. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself, rather than fight back. You can make it animate. I didn't look at Eevee's Pokemon Dex entry, Pokedex. No one ever calls it the Pokemon Dex, what are we talking about? Wait! It can evolve into a variety of forms. Eevee's genes are the key to solving the mysteries of Pokemon evolution. Alright. Where do you find more Eevee? Route 17. The Illustrated Handbook. Gotta give me that Rattata. Okay, so it, I'm not used to how you hold this thing yet. You have to point it at the center of the screen, and like, you have to make sure to flick it with some power. You can't just... You can't just sort of, meh. You gotta, you gotta put effort into it, I guess. We'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, you can be certain that 40 more live in the area. At least 40, but up to infinity. <laughs> So, you can avoid wild encounters now. If you also keep catching the same Pokemon repeatedly in a row, it'll start a chain, even on... Even this early. And even without any sort of fancy device. Pokemon changing isn't new. Oh no. Oh. What she got there? Eevee found something in the plants. Cool. Thanks, Eevee. Okay, so that kid will want to fight me later. Maybe they're one of the master trainers or something. That'd be kind of funny. Viridian Forest. Yeah, we'll be there soon. Viridian City's looking nice. There's that bush you need cut for, as always. Hmm, I wonder who those people are over there. With the mysteriously... Um, their team rocket. <laughs> this is a nice Pokemon Center remix. I like how they've made the main characters start, like, leaning over when they talk to kids and stuff. That's a nice touch. Heck yeah, I'll read this. Secret techniques, eh? 
Well, I mean, I'm sure I'll get those eventually. I cannot ex examine this poster. Hmm, that's a good question. One character, one player, two Joy-Cons? I don't even know how to make that happen. Well, it's not the home button. <laughs> Well, I did it, by accident. I don't know what button it was. But this person's here now. How do I get rid of them? <laughs> How do I make this person go away? Oh dear. That was a mistake. <laughs> there aren't- I don't think you can do the pulling the batteries thing out. I don't want a controller for my second player. I want to get rid of them. <laughs> Wait, I think it told me how to do it there. Whoops, I didn't mean to press that. No. How do I... Sorry. Whoop, that was the capture button. <laughs> Dang it. Of course, now this doesn't work at all, because... <laughs> I want it in single sideways mode. How do you get rid of this person? <laughs> oh, reattaching the Joy-Con to the Switch, huh? That might work. It didn't work. <laughs> Shake the other Joy-Con? Well, okay, that worked. <laughs> I made I threw him out of the game world. Thank you for looking it up. <laughs> That was silly. Uh, that's very intuitive. Thanks, Nintendo. Game Freak. It, it is shaking. Yep. Oh, the Pokemon Center is undergoing maintenance. I have not battled a trainer. 
Wow, if your speed is higher, you go first. Amazing. Incredible. Well, they wanted it to be shaking, I think, because they wanted it to be easy to, like, join in or drop out. So it couldn't just be a menu option. It had to be like the player could just pick up the controller. And I guess picking it up would theoretically cause the motion? Well, this game obviously doesn't care about motor disabilities, so... They probably didn't consider that at all. The director of this game actually said that they were worried people wouldn't use the motion controls, so they made it impossible to turn them off. So obviously they don't care about any problems they might cause. I did know there were two caterpillar Pokemon. I think. Yeah. I didn't know Weed Weedle was considered a caterpillar. Oh, Eevee's seeing something. Oh, no, Eevee just likes the flowers. Okay. Hold on one second. Alright, um, people with motor disabilities can't even catch Pokemon properly in, um, handheld mode because even though you can use the control stick and the A button in order to aim and throw the Pokeball, gyro aiming is still there and not possible to turn off. So, this game is thoroughly not accessibility friendly and it's kind of shit, to be frank. Okay, there is a delivery for Professor Oak. It just takes a second. <laughs> That's probably because they couldn't... Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I'll just fast travel. Why not? Okay. What's the point? <laughs> Hello. Oh, right. They have to introduce this part, where Eevee sits on my head. And my character is just like, hey, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> All it takes to be a great Pokemon trainer is to have an Eevee on your head. <laughs> Why not use fast travel? Because Gen 2 through 7 Pokemon don't exist. Uh... Yeah, they have... They have a lack of accessibility options deliberately because they want people to use their motion controls. Oh, Eevee weighs 14 pounds, so I have a 14 pound thing on my head right now. Okay. I'm sure that's fine for a small child to have. Hmm? Whoa, it's so radical to have Eevee on your head! Whoa. And now we have Dennis. They have me to live Oh, they okay, they have to explain berries. Professor Oak, that this one isn't your actual relative. Don't call him son. Also, what happens if we do eat these berries? That's so cool, I want severe neck problems too. Wow. Oak's just like, you can just use your favorites or you can catch as many as you want. It's all up to you. Also, I want to see that adorable idol animation from the front, thank you. My god. This game is scientifically engineered to be unfairly adorable. 
Is the save screen still gonna be? Yeah, okay. Just wondering if Eevee had relocated. Still too freaking cute. God. Okay, here's the part where we fight. <laughs> Dennis, stop trying to look intimidating. You goofball. Ow, Evie growl. She mad. Dennis, why is your Pikachu level 6? I'm sure it's fine. Um... Yeah, this is clearly more weighted in the player's favor than usual. I gave Eevee a boost. I didn't toss her. It's fine. It's fine. Usually you can actually lose this fight, but I think you'd have to actively try here. So, wait, what C CP is like the, okay. Eevee actually does have a higher base stat total than, well, actually this is a special Eevee. Because in this game, um, the Eevee or Pikachu that you start with is special and has a higher base stat total than normal. And he probably just has a regular Pikachu. But even between the two special ones, Eevee's base stat total is actually 5 points higher than the Pikachu. <laughs> so Pika so Eevee is canonically better, is what I'm saying. And yeah, CP is the go power level. That's right. I don't know why it matters in this case. <laughs> Did you enjoy your first taste of battle? <laughs> Eevee loves murder. God, I'm so sniffly. I hate it. You never forget your first blood. I just wanted to see if my mom had anything to say about my future neck problems going on here. Hello, Dennis mom. Again. Oh, you are a sister. Okay, so where's Dennis's parents then? Eevee the man's pet. You can pet your Eevee. Yes, Eevee, I'm reading. <laughs> Press CR or A. Okay, so why is the center? You know, they could probably have sold this entire... This, just like this screen of the game would probably sell for $60. Can I just pet Eevee infinitely? Let's try other parts. Ah! Could wiggle the ear. Let me scratch the chest. How do I, how do I get a high five? How do I high five? I'm not holding the button. Okay, I guess this, I guess ZR or ZL is the sensitive button. Or it just sometimes happens? 
Oh, I can boop the tail. I thought there was a booping nose method as well. What's that? I don't know what that is. Eat this. Yay. Hold down the button with my hand not on Eevee. Well, okay, I have to get out of the berry menu. Oh. If it makes Eevee do that, it, I can't... I don't know how to high-five. not even holding anything. If you just wiggle with enough ferocity, it does that. Anyways. Oh, maybe there's more information. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> it does kind of sound like Eve is going, yeah, boy! Anyway, we were given clothing for Eevee, which is extremely important, so... No, you can almost see it. It's supposed to match your initial clothing, I suppose. Also, this is where the town map is, I guess. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry for my sinuses, God. I'm not very professional. Okay. Uh, okay. You're saying the same thing. Hmm? Oh. It's a bell sprout. Okay. Okay, so you have to throw it a lot earlier in order to... Also, I wasn't centered, apparently. It's aiming left when I throw because I'm using my left hand, so... So, like, I'm naturally pointed more leftwards than at the center of the screen, is what I'm saying here. It feels unprofessional to have sinus issues. Prefers hot and humid places. It ensnares tiny bugs with its vines and devours them. It's fine. Hooray, a potion. You know, I kind of like seeing all the Pokemon out on the world. Apparently, oh, they even, like, physics the grass, too. Apparently, um... This isn't a new thing, exactly. Aw, you sneaky... I, I, okay. <laughs> you sneaky Bellsprout. Hey, stop that. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, you're right. He couldn't leave the store unattended, but now he's here. Maybe he just couldn't do that for that time, and now he's off his shift. I think there's like some variant of the Poké Radar, or what's it, that had them walking around? I don't know. I just wanted to try getting a combo. Why not, after all? Which reminds me... You 
can't see um, their IVs yet. You have to get to like the third gem for that. Wah, wah. Oh, there's like a different background for each type. I think that was a go thing. Yeah, they do want you to catch a ton. Honestly, that seems kind of fun. So, okay, you want to fight now. I was expecting that. Youngster Ronnie. I wonder if his favorite Pokemon is Weedle. No, it's not. His shirt is Weedle, but his favorite Pokemon is not Weedle. I've been deceived by a small child. I like this battle stance here. This is a stance I would probably personally strike. Okay. I guess they... I think Tackle got buffed beyond 40 at some point, didn't it? Yeah, I, I am... This game is definitely weighted more towards catching. I think I probably already responded to that, but... That's fine. It just feels like it's a relaxing Pokemon experience. Aw. Oh, he looks really... something. Okay, so Tackle is a little bit stronger in some other more recent games. It's nice just walking around and seeing the Pokemon and like being able to avoid them or not. Hello again, Dennis. Yeah, I beat up a small child. I know what a Pokemon Center is. Wouldn't it be nice if there was healthcare that didn't cost you much money in, you know, places besides video games? Cough. I kind of wanted Eevee to just hop up onto the machine. Can I talk to the Chansey? I sure can. Chansey's happy. I'm not going to get over this, this save screen anytime soon. Oh, it dropped back to 40? Hmm. I guess Tackle is... Yeah, alright. That's my name, Kid from Pallet Town. Okay, I thought you were going to follow that up with something. Wait, you can heal your Pokémon at any time by putting him in the PC? And you can access your PC from anywhere? There's no PC because the Pokémon box is just in your bag. I guess I can't send Pokemon to the professor yet. That's not a thing. I want to read the poster. Now let's see. Traditionally, I usually buy nothing but Pokeballs at the start. I'm just going to buy mostly nothing but Pokeballs and then some potions. Because why not? Hmm, what? 
What do they sell that requires refrigeration? Well, those aren't potions, so... I guess you can't see... Whoops. The item graphics in the shop menu. Maybe those are like the, uh... Stat boosting items? But wait, those probably aren't in this game, are they? Because you just have candy, right? Hmm. Get schooled in school! Well, unfortunately, I'm committed to talking to every NPC. Eevee is a normal type. And it can be weak to getting punched, but who would punch an Eevee? That's illegal. I doubt I really need to look at any of these things. <clears throat> I was hoping for it. It's full of difficult books. Honestly, a little bit disappointing. It's a little funny for someone to ask, you have Pokemon, don't you, when there's one on my head? But what do I know? What is this? A... a random shrub. Always gotta go this way. Though I wonder if their rival is still over here, actually. It might be dangerous. Hello. Leader and female is pretty cute. In this game. I knew you were going to do that. I'm sure if there's a rocket grunt that drops the lift key, we will see it. I don't feel prepared to hunt a shiny thing. I don't have enough Pokeballs for that. Like, you have to chain probably into the hundreds for that to be reliably around. I will hunt for shinies in this game eventually, probably, because it feels like I might enjoy it this time. <coughs> I'm not really sure who I want to use while I play through the game, though. That Ratata is off the rails. Come on. There you go. Nidoqueen is pretty good. Victory Bell isn't bad, if I remember right.
You can't sort by, like, putting the ones in your party at the front, maybe? No? Well, alright. That's a little unfortunate. I'm going to chain for a little bit, just because I can. You can sort your box manually too, I'm sure. You just can't sort in a way that makes sense to me. <laughs> Hey, there's a Spiro. I guess I don't have one of those, so I might as well catch it. Get back here. <laughs> Excellent! Inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. I didn't actually read Nidoran females out loud. Oh well. Now let's see. Okay, so you, I, I was expecting, like, you have to put them in front to have them travel alongside you, but I suppose not. Also, you can rename your Pokémon at any time, but I don't have any nicknames in mind, really. Oh, it's Dennis. Alright, so there is still a fight here. You don't have to make a chain that's too long to max the chance of shinies. Bye. Eevee, why are you so angry? Oh, a level 3 Pidgey. That's not, in that's not very impressive. Oh, really? It's about 30-ish? Oh, that's nice. If you catch all of the Pokémon, you can still get the, uh... the thing where... it makes the shiny chance increase. I don't know if you need all 151 for that, because, um, you'd have to buy the Pokéball Plus for the Mew, I suppose. What goes into maintaining the chain is just catching the same Pokémon, that's it. You can even run away if you run into the wrong Pokémon, and the chain won't be broken. I looked at a little bit of someone streaming, um, chaining Pokémon together like that, and she explained that bit, so... Oh, you never need mythical ones for the charm? Alright. So do my Pokémon in waiting get the same amount of experience even if they don't fight, or is it still like usual? It's kind of... I don't know actually.
Part of me misses having rivals that are actually kind of rude. Oh, there's an Eevee in the corner. I think that means Eevee wants to be pet. Hello, Eevee. Aw. <laughs> it's a little bit of a shame that you can't play with all of your Pokemon. Now they won't let me in, but I'm going to go in here anyway, just cuz. Alright, so they still have the gates checking for each badge individually, I suppose. Fair. I like the music so far. Oh. I need to get the other Nidoran. in. Hello. Throwing the Pokeball does feel pretty good. So at least, even though the motion controls are mandatory when they shouldn't be, and for some people they won't work at all, at least they're kind of satisfying. Yeah, it's fun seeing all the Pokemon run around and stuff. But Gen 8 will probably get rid of some features, as always. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. A lot of the um a lot of the Dex entries here remind me of the bootleg Pokemon Green ones. Because that one reminds me of the when meeting a danger phrase that commonly appeared in that. So if there's a Bellsprout on Route 1 now, I kind of wonder how different are the Pokemon encounters. Because did Bellsprout show up on Route 1 in like yellow or something? Also, I just realized um, I didn't talk to Team Rocket when I saw them here earlier. And then when I was sucked back to Oak's lab, they aren't here anymore. So I missed that opportunity. Ugh, sorry. I did know that. Kampa? Oddish, are you a fan of Hyper Dimension Neptunia or something? Well, here's the gem that's not going to have anyone in it. The gym leader is... Well, you know who it is. <laughs> Okay, this sign here tells you shake the second controller to call in a support trainer. I mean, I guess they have an engine to work with, but I get the feeling they won't reuse this engine exactly. I mean... Personally, I haven't really played any Hyper Dimension Neptunia, so I can't tell you if I'm a fan of it or not. I just know the character name. There are many Bellsprout here. Anything else? I guess not. Not for right now, anyways. Same type attack bonus. Brittany Forest isn't really that much of a maze. 
How come I can only examine the trash can in my house? Why can't I dig through any other trash? You're crushing my dreams, video game. If you catch a Pokemon, you'll earn experience points. If you catch a large Pokemon, you'll get more experience points. If you catch a small Pokemon, you'll get more experience points. Incredible. Um... You know, I don't think most of these Pokemon would work very well against the kinds of things I expect these trainers to have, actually. <laughs> well, they work just as well as... Uh... Let's put someone else in front for a bit. See you there, Weedle. Weedles can move faster than I thought. What? Oh. I guess Weedle's difficult, huh? That's slight easier. That's slightly more likely to get an item. Okay, that's interesting. And I have to throw the berry as well, huh? Oh. It just goes. Alright. If you keep chaining Pokemon, it gets easier to catch each one. By the way, that's another fact. So I guess that makes it easier to, like, conserve berries as a resource. Beware of the sharp stinger on its head. It hides in grass and bushes where it eats leaves. Okay. I thought that Nidoran in the grass was... Uh, do you have a big Pikachu? N no I mean, I have a fat Pikachu plush on my shelf in my real room. His name is Bert. Why is Eevee dancing on the fight button? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But I did it, I guess. Oh, the Alolan Raichu um, dex entry in this game is really good, by the way. It mentions how it loves to eat pancakes. So that's now official in games as well. Well, the room I'm in right now, of course. Not the one Eevee dragged me through the television in. That's different. Why is Eevee dancing on the fight button? Does that mean something? Oh, the pancakes thing? I, I checked the uh, Alolan Raichu dex entries, but I don't think they said anything about pancakes before. They might have said it elsewhere? I don't know. Either way, pancakes are great. And I'm happy Alolan Raichu enjoys pancakes. That's a fun losing animation. Now let's try something. While we're here. <laughs> Remove from party. Add to party. Let's 
she did not get healed. So that doesn't work anymore. All right. All right. I didn't know Alolan Raichu material was. I don't think it was in the games before. But it is now. Syrup is a good name for an Alolan Raichu. Ah! A regular Weedle ambushed me when I wanted the shiny one. Well, it wasn't shiny, it was glowing. In some way. Okay, it's still there. So when a thing has the the um, blue glow around it, that means it's tiny. When it has a red glow, that means it's huge. So... Come on. I know you're gonna try to resist. There you go. Gotta get that tiny Weedle. You know, I have no idea if low kick actually matters with the sizes or anything like that. I think the sizes might just be for fun. <laughs> that is a small weedle. There's another tiny weedle. Wait, what? Why did it go over there? <laughs> there we go. Hey! I keep thinking people are trying to talk to me, but they're not. <laughs> like, in the real world, I mean. Eevee wants to learn Double Kick. Okay. I didn't remember that Eevee did that. Hello? Fighting is that color? Okay. I'm not used to that. I forgot about the extra large totem Pokemon that you could actually catch <coughs> in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This this Weedle was not smaller than the previous Weedle. There's a Kakona. Actually, what does this fairy do? Calms wild Pokemon you're trying to catch. So I guess that probably makes them move around less or something. Come on, it was excellent. I mean, I know I probably need to give you more berries or something. You're still yellow. You stupid butt. Well, oh, that feels like a waste. All right. 
By the way, there's no way to really choose what Pokeball you're using, I don't think. There might be. But it does automatically shuffle to a different type if you run out of one, so it's possible to accidentally use your Master Ball. <laughs> so that's something. Able to move only slightly. When endangered, it may stick out its stinger and poison its enemy. That's a Caterpie. Can I get that too? You might be able to do that. Yeah, okay, you can, you can switch ball types. It just automatically does it too, if you run out. Premier Balls should be identical to Poker Balls still, I would assume. took off like one half of my headset so that I can hear if people were calling for me because I keep thinking that they are. Oh, okay. And um, this is what evolution looks like now. Because I have one half of my headset off, I can more clearly hear myself speak and for some reason it sounds weird to me. Like more than usual. <laughs> Hooray! Kakuma. I guess. Hooray! I like this weird galaxy zone that you evolve in. If you touch the feeler on top of Caterpie's head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. Put Caterpie in the party. That way I can easily get a Metapod and or Butterfree. I keep seeing tiny things and having to catch them. I can't help it. This is what the game kind of expects you to do, I suppose is to catch things a lot. Though it'd probably be pretty easy to be overleveled in this game, I would imagine. You get a lot more experience for catching something you haven't caught before. More double kick. Well, now I have two things that can kick rock, and thus beat Brock, so that's a good sign. That's a big Kakuna. Well, the berries barely freaking help, so I'll use one of them. Timing minigame's kind of fun, honestly. Hey! This is easier to get a hang of for me than <coughs> the Pokemon Go catching with the flicking on the phone and all that. <coughs> this Kakuna is 8 pounds heavier than the last one. Actually, now that I think about it. Elbow? 
Evie is 14.3 pounds and sitting on my head at all times. Let's fight this person. Hey, get get off of that name. Don't use that name ever. <laughs> Well, uh, does rap still not do a lot? I guess not. Weedle would resi resist Vine Whip, though. And avoid that, of course. Well, rap is decent when you're seven levels higher than your opponent. Everyone looks so astounded when you defeat them. <laughs> Weedle can't turn the body. Hello! There's a tiny Kakuna, again. Antidote. Thanks, trainer tip sign. Oh, I didn't even notice this person. So far, the music seems remixed nicely. I think I said that already. Oh no, it's Rick. I forget how consistent these names are with other versions of Gen 1. I still also don't know why Eevee is dancing on the fight command. I think you can do like a support move? Yeah, you can. You have to shake. Okay, you can just... Okay, it does take the turn, but you can buff all of your stats a level if Eevee is dancing and you're not using your Eevee. Okay. That's why Eevee was dancing, trying to get the shaking motion across, I suppose. Caterpie can't hack it! That sounds familiar, I think they said that before. Hooray! That's an extra large Caterpie. I heard a Pikachu. I heard another Pikachu. Where is it? It's not that Weedle. It's not that extra large Pidgey. I have no idea if Bulbasaur appear in this forest, but now that you mention it, I guess they probably do. Oh, I'm sure the meme line is still there. It's gotta be, right? My question is, when can I get more clothing? Because that's what I'm the most interested in. <laughs> I think I heard that you can get some from talking with people. Hey, you're the one that challenged me to a fight, I think. Right? So 
someone saw a Bulbasaur around here, maybe. Hmm. Oh, that was where the Pikachu was. <laughs> Just in the road. I ran it over. Alright. Hello, Pikachu. I didn't even notice you. You blended in. Eat this food. Dang it. You sneaky. There you go. Hey. What a shame. Pikachu got less catchable after I failed to catch her once. Huh. Well, I got I got her that time. Did you know Pikachu can be a girl? Soccer I twenty eighteen. Or, no, it was... Did you know Pikachu Libre is a girl? That's what it was. <laughs> is there a visible difference between male and female Pichus? Because I think the, um... There was that spiky-eared Pichu... That I think was always female. And Spiky Eared Pichu is actually one of the uh, costumes for Pichu. Yeah, it's the tail for Pikachu, but I don't think it is for Pichu. Caterpie is evolving. Just as planned. And it's true, anyone can be a girl. Metapod shoots up into the sky in a geyser of power and lands with a thud. Alright. This is a little disturbing. A large impact may cause it to pop out of its shell. Um... I think with Pichu... The ears are usually the same, but, like, the special spiky-eared Pichu is a girl, I think. You'll feel a tingly shock if you touch Pikachu. Be careful. At least if you touch Pikachu's cheeks. The chubbiest, most pinchable-looking part, that's how it gets you. Um... <laughs> I like that you can access all of your Pokemon at any time. I didn't need to go to the Pokedex. Now it can be Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Pikachu's really into that sunlight. Pikachu like runs ahead of you, apparently. Interesting. <laughs> so I guess Pokemon run around and follow you at different rates and whatnot. can't punk out on a battle? Is that something people say? Bug catcher Doug. Oh no, a Kakuna. This battle's gonna be pretty hard. Hehehe. <laughs> Do I have any special attack? Yeah, I do, actually. Probably.
You can harden as much as you want. But that won't save you from the shock. I mean, this will still take a while since Pikachu's level 3. Well, that's fine. Pikachu will get a bunch of experience, too. <laughs> let's go Meta Knight and let's go DDD. That'd be a little bit silly, wouldn't it? I wouldn't want DDD sitting on my head. I don't think that would go well. Wait, are you actually taking less damage from my Thunder Shocks over time? That wouldn't make sense, or I don't think. I would like a Kirby RPG of some kind. Pikachu's facing some real stiff competition! Boom, Tish. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Kirby characters do stack on each other, so them sitting on heads doesn't matter too much. Good point. I am going to be... I am so excited for the last DLC of Star Allies, by the way. Oh, Pikachu didn't level up from that? Come on, Pikachu. <laughs> Kirby characters stack for easy storage. Ah! A Pidgey a appeared under my legs. I have 69 Pokeballs left, nice. Yeah, they should do a Kirby shmup too, because they clearly want to. You're correct there. Do I want to know the trick for throwing a Pokeball well? I think I figured it out, honestly. I like the character model for Lass in this game. It's pretty cute. I wonder if Pikachu can survive an attack. Chaining some of the rarer Pokemon, I wonder how difficult it- Oh, that reminds me, actually. I'm pretty sure that there are some Pokemon that only start appearing once you have chained enough. I think Bulbasaur is actually one of those, so if you chain up to like 10 Pokemon in the forest, um, Bulbasaur's will start showing up, I think it is. Oh, get paralysis did paralyzed, I know. Bulbasaur is a friend, you're right. Oh, I missed. Dang sand attack. Well, let's not die. So... I've already got a bell sprout. if you want to be technical. I've already got a grass and poison type. I know Venusaur is better than Victory Bell. I'm just gonna pick this Metapod up and club you to it, club that Pidgey with it. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Throw a Pokeball to hit the center. Wow, that's helpful. Hmm. 
What if I make Metapod follow me? Metapod likes to leave. Oh, I heard that. Seems like you get more experience points for catching things than you do for fighting. Not surprising, I guess. Oh, see? That was a catch combo too, even though the last Pikachu I caught was a while ago. Uh, what do pineapple berries do? They said, I think, it's more likely for a Pokemon to give you an item. Yeah. Slightly more likely to get an item when it's given to the Pokemon you're trying to catch. I don't really know what that means, to be honest. Gotcha. Small Pikachu gotcha. is tiny. Gotcha. So it's really forgiving when you can, uh, how much you can change, so. Yeah, sometimes you do get items, I guess. Hey! Get back on the ball! Ah. A little bit, not quite. A little bit, not quite. I guess it worked. I'm gonna try chaining Pikachus. That's a really small Pikachu. It's not even a foot. The old Pika chain. Yes, siree. Oh, hey. A lure? What's that? I mean, it's probably. It's pretty obvious what that is, I guess. Makes rare Pokemon more likely to appear. I wonder how long that lasts. And how easy those are to get. Oh. Well, it made a it made a Beedrill explode out of the grass. So I guess you can just catch wild Beedrill. I don't want Caterpie. I saw a big Pika over there. Big Pikachu. It's huge! This might not be a really sustainable chain early on. Versus Giant Pikachu! Failure. <laughs> I guess it's probably more resource efficient to just try and just try and mess up. Dang it, Pikachu! There we go. I shouldn't use all my berries on it. Accidentally skipped through that screen immediately. Gotcha. That Pikachu is 10 pounds heavier than the tiny one. That's a big difference. 
Oh, there's another Pikachu right there. They're kind of sneaky. Hey! You sure are an active one. I'm doing pretty good with the timing now, though. I don't think I could describe the timing with words, but I guess I'm, I felt it out or something. <laughs> Lily says bark. Catch combo five. It's a bell sprout. Pikachu! Pikachu! The chains are really forgiving. Which is nice. That was a bit too early. It's fine. Pokeballs are a lot more plentiful than they are in actual Go. Because in actual Go, you have to get them from Pokestops or with money. There's like a delay when you throw, I feel like. Dang it, Pikachu. Fine, I'll use a berry on you, dang it. It doesn't look like it made an appreciable difference. What's Adventure Sync? I haven't played Pokemon Go in a long time. To be honest. Though I did get a new phone. And I'm about to... M I'll be moving to a different location soon enough. Hopefully the new area, the new... Hopefully the new neighborhood has a Pokestop in it like this one does. I'll miss Mini Amazing Fountain. The best Pokestop name. <clears throat> but I might end up getting back into Go a little bit. Just... Whoops. Not in a super elaborate sort of way. Or not a super into it sort of way. It's just kind of a fun accompaniment to walking, I suppose. Alright, so it's not really hard to get Pikachu once they start showing up. That might be because I use the lure. I'm assuming the lure doesn't last forever, too. Oh! So Adventure Sync basically lets you play Pokemon Go without having Pokemon Go be the front, the uh, active window, as it were. It's funny that they have to give that a fancy name rather than it just being a basic feature. <laughs> I've been wondering, like, what good pedometer apps there are because I do go on walks and all I have is like the phone's basic health app which does measure your steps but that's about it yeah there we go blur we're off so is Google fit a good app for that purpose then Ah, you still have to get- I mean, yeah, you still have to have go open. Oh, to, to catch things and get stuff in- right. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I know if you have the Pokeball Plus, you can automatically spin Pokestops you walk by. I believe. Something like that. 
There's a lot of small and or huge things around here. Yes, Metapod. Since the lure wore off, is it going to be di more difficult to find Pikachu you now? I... Okay. Right now only Google Fit and the Apple one are compatible? Alright. I'll have to keep that stuff in mind. Oh, there's a trainer. I see that huge Pikachu over there! That's what the hurry is. That's what the rush is. Let me get my big Pikachu. <laughs> Well, Metapod is kind of an anti-hurrying Pokemon, isn't it? I'm gonna try something. Although this Metapod apparently knows Tackle, so poisoning it isn't quite as funny. Let's try a double kick. Yes, that's definitely kicking. Hopping in place. That's true. Doesn't have the Shed Skin ability to cure it either. Didn't think about that. I'm glad that the Pokemon on the world map are, like, persistent. This is a huge female Pikachu. I really don't want to use all of my berries. I get the feeling that's not a smart thing to do. So maybe the game expects me to. I don't know. Yeah, that was delayed. Oh well. The berry effect wearing off after you fail a catch is a little bit of a pain. Come on now. I'm glad they give you so many Pokeballs at the start. <laughs> and you get Pokeballs for beating trainers too, so... That's very helpful of them. Heck yeah, we can learn Bite. Combo 9. That was an even larger Pikachu. Big lady Pikachu. Heck yeah. There's also a giant bee actively chasing me around at this point. Beedrill, please. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a Beedrill. I could try to get a Beedrill, but I also have a Kakuna that's going to get experience, so it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get Bulbasaurus to appear is what I'm trying to do. Dang it, Pikachu. Hurting that ball. I think it'd be cool if there was like a bonus for catching them right after they did their little 
Animation technique bonus. Maybe there is. I don't know what that means. Oh, hey. Speaking of, I didn't realize Kakuna evolved at level 10. I thought it was a little later than that. Hello, Beedrill. It has three poisonous stingers on its four legs and its tail. They're used to jab the enemy repeatedly. Yay! Twin Needle, hooray! Catch combo 10. Tuck that Pikachu. So, with 10, theoretically, I think Bulbasaur should start appearing? Potentially? Although... Did that Beedrill just, like, vertically leap into the sky? <laughs> I do not remember this bee waifu's topic at all. <laughs> Presumably the chance for Bulbasaur, etc. will rise as the Pikachu chain rises. I probably could have picked an easier thing to chain than Pikachu. Oh, what? Why did that count? I thought Pikachu was jumping. Weird. Alright. Yep, Beedrill pieced out. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I could have saved my lure for this point. You're right. That's also true. I was just curious to learn how they worked. There's a Bulbasaur! Yay! Hello. Wow, did I really make a something lives matter joke? Can we delete that video from the internet for being stupid? That's not something to joke about. Um, I think the the bee the bee waifu is in Banjo Tsui, not Donkey Kong 64. I think. <laughs> I'm glad I'm past the point when I make jokes like that. It can go for days without eating a single morsel. In the bulb on its back, it stores energy. Yay, Bulbasaur. That breaks the chain, of course, since Bulbasaur is not Pikachu. However, let's see. Let's take this Pikachu out of the party. I think this was the extra big girl Pikachu. Gotcha. Modest, even. I'm going to put this Pikachu in my party instead. And, um... Remove Beedrill. Add Bulbasaur. I wonder when it'll let me, uh, send these to... Oh, you can press plus to check your party specifically. I just noticed that. I wonder when it will allow me to send Pokemon to the professor.
hung buttons. Let's see. Investigate a non-party Pokemon in the box? I think I did. Like, here's a random Pikachu. Oh, wait. You can. Well, alright. Um. If I send all of these things to the professor... This might be a little excessive to do all of them. <laughs> I sent you 10 Pikachu. I guess I earned some candy. That's a lot of candy. The way legendaries are handled in this game, you actually have to battle them and knock them out. And then you have to do a go version of catching on them. Time to feed all of this candy to Eevee. Why does it say needs one? So this just straight up adds one to the stat. Oh, okay. You need more than one candy once you've fed enough candy of a type. I get you. Oops. Oh, and the larger candies only work on Pokemon that are high enough level. Fair. Yeah, the candy seems pretty busted. I can agree with that. From what I've seen. Accidentally talked to Pikachu. So CP is just kind of a summary. What? It's not cut anymore? It's chopped down? That's more specific. What if you need to, like, cut something that isn't chopped? Huh? Yeah, the bigger candies are probably to stop you from dumping everything into a low-level Pokemon. Hey, nice! Oh, and it's, it's Dennis. Okay. Evie wants to fight! Thanks, Dennis. Part of me misses rivals that are less friendly, but eh. don't blow all your money in one place. But also, it's fun to blow all your money in one place. Thanks, old lady. 
This is valuable advice. Bow bow is apparently the noise Nidoran makes. If he's more amused by the rival than I am. That's possible. Though... I, I can't examine this television. That's a shame. I just want to look at everything. I'm probably more amused than I sound like I am. I just That's just how I sound. Oops, I already talked to you. I don't think there's a smell you later. Your rival is a nice kid instead of a Gary slash blue slash green. Whatever he's going by at the moment. I mean, I think he's in there somewhere, but he's not your rival. Cute or crunchies? I don't know what that is. Give me. Give me those crunchies. I got the munchies for crunchies. What are these? <laughs> okay. Pewter City has a famous crunchy snack that heals status effects now. That's new. You can go get a Pikachu, like, briefly to the south if you want one. Also, there's my Pikachu right there, who got stuck on the table. You can do it, Pikachu! She'll get somewhere eventually. In the meantime, I will be right back.
Hello, I'm back. I see we're all talking about ghost cake. Or ghost... whatever old ghetto is. It did... it does always kind of look like a purple stick of butter, I think. Someone please help my Pikachu. I think she's stuck. There we go. <laughs> How are you on the phone? <laughs> Both of your hands are occupied, and you've got no visible earpiece. Oh well, that's fine. I'll suspend my disbelief. For a little bit longer. Dude! I didn't check out the museum yet. Well, Magikarp are still being sold somewhere. That guy is hinting at Magikarp turning into something that doesn't suck. I have no money, apparently. Pikachu's window shopping. I like how the Pokemon, like when you talk to them, they seem to have different... They seem to be doing different things depending on where you are. That's cool. I think they might have done that the last time they were followable. That Butterfree is named Free. Oh, speaking of finding items in the field. I like this Clefairy poster. This is a good poster. I wonder if that's referencing anything. Why can't I examine all of the random objects? I'm disappointed. I'm only a little disappointed. Does anyone remember the, uh... Ah, the Museum of Science. Does anyone remember, the, like, the Pokemon Stadium minigames? The Clefairy one was pretty funny. We get to press the buttons that came up, and if you failed, your Clefairy got whacked by a rubber mallet. Can't talk to them. You could just fall asleep. I'm gonna spend half my money to examine the museum. I guess. That's fine. How about Kabutops? Oh, I thought the plaque might say something different. The stadium minigames are really good. Space exhibit? That's a big moonstone. Uh, 
A map of the universe. I suppose that arrow is probably you are here. Fair enough. I have an Eevee. It's on my head. Yeah, you can't have it. Sorry. <laughs> Pieces of a meteor. Microscope. Yeah, I don't know how they have a map of the universe, really. <laughs> Oh man, this this game says mankind stood on the moon. It's, it's moon landing propaganda, you guys. The origin of the universe. Pokemon is leftist propaganda. <laughs> I don't know if there, are, if people claim that sort of thing is leftist <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah, Deoxys is probably not here. What favor do you want? Poke. Sure, I'll keep an eye on Slowpoke. Slowpoke's great. Pokemon that evolve from the Moonstone are drawn to the Moonstone display? That's cool. Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. You spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. Oru. Yay! Do you only have to pay for the museum entry once, or... You have to do it every time. You have to do it every time. I would check the Moonstone display thing. <laughs> 50 is nothing, but right now I have 54. <laughs> Oops. I'm working on it. I'm gonna sell the pearls so that I have actual money. I was selling it! Gosh. I don't remember the big pearl being worth that much either. Even if 4,000 isn't a lot in Pokemon money, I think... Nidoran looks drawn towards the Moonstone. Yep, there you go. So they just run over to it and look at it. I mean, that makes sense. That's a cute touch. I wonder if the fossil Pokemon react to seeing their fossilized remains. Oh, I can't keep an eye on Slowpoke again right away. That is good design for people who wouldn't know, in a way. I guess it's Brock time. I wonder what level Brock will be. <laughs> I 
in any case, I have multiple double kicks and vine whip. I should be fine. A oh, big pearl was originally 3750, huh? Oh, as of Gen 7, it's 4000. Oh. Oh, cool, there's like audience seating and stuff. That's neat. You have to know type matchups to enter this gym. You have to show me a grass or a water type Pokemon if you want to get in. Interesting. Here's a bell sprout. I think gyms have stuff like this in general now. It's interesting. Oh uh, yeah, I figured that much. You can really easily go around these trainers if you want. I don't think you can have a fighting type at this point. You can have fighting type moves. I think that's it. Level 7, huh? That's not bad. This will be a piece of cake. A piece of purple butter cake. Trading does exist, yes. I forget, to be honest. Yeah, you don't need to use a grass type. You just need to have a grass type to demonstrate that you know type matchups. I always kind of forget that you can trade. I suppose you'll probably have to to get all the Pokemon still. Good thing the 10,000 light years line is still in here. Couldn't live without that one. I like everyone's really dramatic poses. That's true, Yellow did have early Mankey. I wonder if you can get Mankey if you like chain Pokemon enough on Route 2 or something. Light years is in time, it measures distance! Whoa. Let's take this line out of context. With the screenshot. <laughs> Apparently I have a lot of guts. That's hard to believe because the guts ability doesn't exist in this game. Whoa! Hello Brock. I like all the whooshing noises and dramatic stuff going on here. I mean, like, presentation-wise, I think that this game is probably a good sign for what the eventual Gen 8 will look like, because it'll be better than this, most likely. And this looks pretty good, I like it. Like, it's not super complicated. It's not the best graphics ever, but it looks nice. <laughs> Onyx is large. Did you know? Onyx is apparently fast, faster than Bellsprout, and didn't get KO'd in one hit. Also, wow, that health bar speed, the speed at which the health bar goes down. Remember in Gen 4 when it went at like, it was like watching 
I don't know. It was very, very slow in Gen 4. <laughs> Onyx does have very high defense, that is true. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Butterfree, probably. <laughs> yeah, I like that the Pokémon sizes are shown, like Onyx being so large. That's a nice change. I don't know how easily you can see individual size differences, like when Pokémon are allegedly huge. I don't think they look different, I might just not be noticing. Its wings, covered with poisonous powder, repel water. This allows it to fly in the rain. Hooray! And yeah, they pointed the camera so you could see Onyx and it looked more menacing and stuff. Gust! I like Butterfree. Okay, that's amazing. I Every time I get a badge, my trainer and my Eevee are going to high five now. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Yay! Boulder time! Thank you! Thank you for the bits. Oh yeah, Plusle versus Waylord is hilarious. And yeah, Colosseum does have a double battle with Waylords in um, the Under, I think. <laughs> TM1 is now Headbutt. And apparently Brock gives it to me? <coughs> That's weird. Waylord Horde battle. The Lord Horde. <laughs> Headbutt's better than basically most of my stuff. Oh, thank you! If you teach Headbutt to Eevee, make sure to play with it afterwards. I didn't even really register what Brock said, to be honest. I'll just keep it for e with Eevee right now. Oh, Brock wants to be a Pokémon breeder. That's anime accurate. Hi, Eevee. Eevee boastfully waved its tail around, trying to get everyone's attention. It would have been funny if Eevee did some kind of headbutt related thing. Instead, Eevee's just gonna make cute noises. It does sound kind of like a Kirby voice. You know what? I'm gonna give Eevee this one. That, that does sound very Kirby. How do I high five? Like, I can make Eevee wave her paw at me, but I don't know how to high-five it. I can do that. <laughs> I like Eevee.
I could just do this all day, really. How do I high five Eevee? I want to know. <laughs> what does this button do? I don't understand. And Pokemon Champion material, apparently. Wait! I forgot! Oh, hey. It's- it's that- it's that one trainer. How'd you know I was Robin? Oh, great! It has this theme. That's good. <laughs> It blew! So, this does mean, I suppose, that red and blue moved out? Yeah, he says right now he set out from Pallet Town once. Oh, cool, thanks. So wait, Oak hasn't made a Pokedex until now? But, huh. He used to just make me scribble on a map. I guess this is either a retcon or an alternate timeline thing again. Yes, he says, smell you later. There you go. There's the smell you later you're looking for. <laughs> He's still obviously arrogant. Oh my gosh, he does a cool salute thing. Just to be a dork. Alright. I'm into it. <laughs> I forgot to check this. Okay, Dennis has beaten the, the, um, the gym. Oh yeah, the decks did look like a book in red, blue, and yellow, you're right. I kind of forgot. And yeah, different versions are actually other universes, also true, because black and white were clearly different. I, I forgot that it was actually, like, for real, an illustrated handbook before. I want to see the Pokedex, but with all the pictures replaced by little, like, Doodles by Red and Blue. I imagine one of them is a surprisingly skilled artist and the other one's probably really bad at it. Um, I think, yes, this actually does take bet place between Red and Blue and Gold and Silver, because I know some details of plot that happen later, and they actually lead into Gold and Silver stuff. I at least heart gold soul silver stuff. In some ways. Uh, I should. Oh, you can just buy great balls now. Okay. I will do that. Actually, maybe it doesn't take place after Red and Blue. I think it might take... Hmm. Because I also know the answer to your question about the Viridian City gem. But I also... But I know that this leads into Gold and Silver stuff. I, I don't... Uh, just an alternate universe, I guess. Not meant to be thought about too deeply. Can I, like, watch Slowpoke more? No? Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot Fire Red and Leaf Green led into Gold and Silver. This is just an alternate universe. 
Thieves? Oh no. Computer police. I didn't see any police. When do I get more outfits? Oh, okay. Yes, yes, I know what the Pokemart is. So when you get badges, more stuff appears in Pokemarts. I think that's how it usually works, but I just don't remember them spelling it out for you. Okay. Who is this? A coach. Okay. So you're just a challenge? Kareem. Okay. So what's... what's you like? Level 11, huh? Oh, I forgot to go to the Pokemon Center. Whoops. Uh -huh. I wonder why coach trainers are marked as something special. Guess we'll find out, maybe. Oh, he looks so sad. Okay, so we get a present for it. Fair enough. Wonder how often that kind of thing will show up again. Look at Eevee's ears and tail bounce along as I run. Look at it. <laughs> the Pokeball pattern isn't in the direct center of the Pokemon Center anymore. How am I supposed to save my game in the center of the Pokeball when the center of the Pokeball is the door? Come on. God, Rainbow Rocket was terrible. <laughs> I did not look at you. Maybe my Eevee looked at him. It seems that Bellsprout might not be the best lead Pokemon for this part. Yep. If you ever look at any of my old Pokemon Let's Plays, you can see, I think, I do that, I sign off episodes often by doing such a thing, by saving in the center of a uh, Pokeball. Why am I mean?
This might be dangerous, putting Pikachu up front. Guess we'll find out. This seems like different. My shorts are cool, right? You can stare at them. Okay. Is this the meme trainer? Or is that a different youngster? You telling me they changed the shorts line? Maybe. All right. Um, I think you can tell this Pikachu is a large one, but that might just be the perspective messing with me, actually. I think. I, hmm. Because this is an extra large Pikachu. Allegedly. Yeah, the shorts line has been referenced to death, so it's fine if they change it. I'm mostly faking being indignant, honestly. Hi, Juan! Jumbo Chew. <laughs> New Pikachu XL. I always wear shorts, even in winter. That's my policy. That sounds kind of familiar. Nidoran isn't a ground type until it evolves, right? That is correct. I can still Thundershock you. Hmm? Yes, you're both very good. People arguing in the chat, not really arguing, people talking in the chat about who's good. You're both really good. Juan, you are very good. Isa, you're very good. Simple as that. And I'm still very grateful for everyone who supports me in any sort of way. By the way. Um, I'm good. I don't know about that. That sounds like crazy talk. Tam, you're good too. I hope I don't make anyone feel left out when I start saying people are good. Because you're all pretty dang good. From what I can tell. Done like dinner. That sounds like a familiar line. You got two great balls. I've seen like a whole bunch of people tweeting that particular message. <laughs> of course they would. I keep thinking party won't be the one it defaults to for some reason. You had to walk up to me from a distance, and you're asking if I pushed you. Some of these trainer lines- HEY! Give me my name back, you thief! I will destroy you. You're not even like a carpenter or anything. You don't have any justification for that. Um, yeah, lots of familiar names around here.
It's dupless. Of course. Now my doppelganger is just taunting me. Get destroyed. Hey, there's... Okay, maybe the back spike is kind of like a tail. You could also just say it's the tail end. <laughs> I know how to avoid a shadow. There's that you got two great balls message again. <laughs> Snake! Snark! When do I get... Is there gonna be an easy way to get more berries ever, I wonder? Hooray! I did it. Accidentally mashed through the menu immediately. The older it gets, the longer it grows. At night, it wraps its long body around tree branches to rest. There's a large ratata over here. It's huge! Uh, they have very retro sounding cries, honestly, still. Ah, uh, dang it, you're right. Butts have been brought up again. Coughing really should have its anime voice. Confirm. <laughs> That's when I remember. Yay, Leech Seed! I think that's a yay. That's a big rat! Whoops, I didn't mean to run into that spear. <laughs> coffee! It always did sound like it was saying coffee. I don't know if I thought it was saying coffee, but I definitely made a joke out of it sounding like it. Oh, there it is. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Wow, you're wearing shorts too. Okay, so it's expanded on a little bit. In real life, I barely ever wear shorts. I don't even own any shorts. Oh, did I miss an item? Alright, I'll get it. Don't worry. Probably don't even need to bother with Leech Seed or anything. Oh cool. Bulbasaur's actual vines are involved in the vine whip. That's nice. Bulbasaur was the first starter I actually chose in the original. Ever since Bulbasaur, I've been picking the water starter every time, but of the original ones... Shorts are the cutting edge of current fashion. Of the original ones, Bulbasaur is my favorite. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Hello there. I wonder if I need that for a Jigglypuff or something. I'm not really big on Squirtle or Charmander. I should just teach everybody Headbutt since I have it. Here we go! Ah, 
Time for Jumbo Chew. Eh, maybe it looks the same as a regular Pikachu. I don't know. Also, what? You're supposed to just keep using Harden. It surprises me every time. There you go. I really want to know, because there's like, in the post-game, there's Master Trainers for every Pokémon, and I really want to know what the Metapod and Kakuna Master Trainers are going to do. I don't think if you have a second player, you can actually, um, challenge them to a fight at the time? Oh, force a double battle and put them side by side. You know, that could work. Oh. Although I think I actually already turned in all of my Pikachus to Professor Oak. So I can't do that. Um, but what I can do... Because I still have the Rattata I caught at the beginning. But I just caught a Jumbo Rattata. So I can use them. Maybe. Uh... I had to take somebody out. Bulbasaur will be back. Do not fret. Um... So the second one is marked as large, although it doesn't seem to be... Oh crap. I accidentally, um, pressed the power button. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can just change your party whenever the heck you want. It's nice. I'm gonna save because I just scared myself. Hiya! Now, they look about the same, at least on this version, or this part. They appear to be identical, at least on the field. Oh, hey, another one of you. <laughs> Oberon, all right. The Fairy King? What are you doing here? They look the... I mean, on the status screen, their heights are very similar, but one of them is not marked as large, and the other one is marked as large, so... Can I get rid of player two in the middle of a battle? I cannot. Okay. So yeah, if you, um... If you use player two, it just turns things into two-on-one fights. Rip. It may need more testing. Ideally, I'd have a very small something and a very large something.
crap. <laughs> Eevee is powerful. I probably won't have trouble going through Mount Moon. I have a lot of options for that. Oh, Payday's a TM, I suppose. Interesting. <laughs> no, you get out of here. Okay, there you go. I agree, whoever animated Eevee's ear wiggling is a good person. Wait, hold on. Radith has fainted, but is still following me on the map, no problem? Interesting. <laughs> the Mega Man teleport. Oh yeah, I forgot TM was a... Or, I forgot Payday was a TM originally. Actually, why am I preparing as if Mount Moon has wild Pokemon that I have to battle in it? That's not how this game works. Oops. Huh. Eevee can learn Payday. Pikachu can learn Payday. I should teach everybody Headbutt. It'll probably help out. Just replace tackle with it. You know, I could have just looked, I could just look in the menu. Probably to see size differences if they are visible. <laughs> Super fighting trainer. Pokemon. That's pretty good. <laughs> This process takes a while, but I guess they didn't expect you to teach your entire party a TM. I'm not in a hurry or anything. <laughs> you can have Mewtwo use Payday. That's kind of funny. Lucky cat, Mewtwo. Still getting used to controls and whatnot. You can ride on certain Pokemon, such as Onyx. Bulbasaur suddenly started messing with you? Uh, yeah. Yay.
You're not even wearing a belt, kid. this game. <laughs> I very easily swayed. I wasn't like, I don't know if I want to play this game. But then Evie fell asleep in my arms. So this game is automatically the best game I've ever played. <laughs> That's probably the video thumbnail. <laughs> I, oh, Evie still wants attention. Oh, Evie got a present. <laughs> and tried to speak with her mouthful, so she went. Mur, mur, mur. <laughs> Evie, I love you. Oh no. Did I accidentally pet you in a bad place? I didn't mean to do that. Hey. Have some bananas? Banana berry? Which is very banana like. <laughs> Don't call me Sweetie Pie, you random old balding man. Oh, you're the one that's selling the magic cart. Yes, give me the stupid fish. Hey, don't tell me that this is an outrageous price video game. So, this game is unusually kind to Magikarp with the Pokedex, because it just says famous for being un very unreliable. It can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. Most of the game's Pokedexes are like, Magikarp's a fucking piece of shit garbage Pokemon that's the worst fish ever invented by mankind. Fuck Magikarp. But this game's just like, eh, Magikarp's known for being unreliable, I guess. Team Rocket's doing crime. Missile Bomb made a lot of noise. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to stop here, go eat dinner and whatnot. But I feel like I definitely want to stream more of this, because I really like playing through Pokemon games. Especially ones with cute Eevees in them. So, this game's great. Oh, Bulbasaur fell asleep too. <laughs> Still can't get over this save screen. God. So thank you everyone for watching. I will see you again next time with more Eevee fun times. This will probably be the only thing I stream for a while. I don't I don't think I'm going to play when I'm not streaming because I want to do the whole thing, the whole playthrough on camera, maybe. So, yeah. Bye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>